Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play WarioWare Mega Microgames with me, Pit Marthroy. In the last episode, we cleared the introduction and Jimmy, and we also got his bonus game because we went back to get Dr. Wario. And we also unlocked Jump Forever, which wasn't that important, but oh well. Today we're going to tackle these, hopefully at least two of them. So we're going to start with Gerbil and Spitz. So the storyline behind these guys is they actually have a storyline unlike Jimmy, who all he does is dance. Uh, they run a taxi service. And basically, you actually kind of see your player here for once. And, you know, it'll be different between a guy or a girl. But, uh, you'll ask them where to go. 10-4. But they act like they're all epic, even though all they do is just drive people places. But they drive way too fast for their own good, apparently. The storyline doesn't really tell you much about that, but from what I've seen from other games, they drive much faster than they should. And so you got your fare going up. Alright, for this one you just go left or right to dodge the buildings in the way. Land, uh, just angle it so you don't crash like I did. The jumps are always different. Sidestep, you may have seen this one from Brawl, just make sure the arrows don't hit you. That's right, a few of these games are actually in Brawl. Some of them will repeat, like a lot of Warriors will repeat. Jimmy, will, I think later on he has a few that repeat from earlier ones. Dodge is just jump over the rocks that he shoots and duck if you need to, if he shoots fireballs at you. That one you've seen before. Seen that one before. Shoot, this one's easy, just uh, aim at the things and hit uh, A. Pretty simple. Blast off. Uh, avoid the asteroids. I don't know how I dodged that, but I got really lucky apparently. Flee, you've seen this one before. Assemble. Oh, I hate this one. I'm really bad at that, but you gotta move left and right so the parts attach. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it's actually still pretty hard. Hit Mars, uh, follow the directions, and find the red planet and hit A to destroy it. Dodge is just dodging the things they throw at you. Dodge, you've already seen. And you have to survive 29 times. Just shoot the ones it tells you to. It usually spells your name, usually. Or war is. Attack, you get one shot for one UFO alien, two shots if there's two, etc. That was really bad. Dodge, you just need to dodge the flames. Grab, you've seen. Dodge, just dodge the things they shoot at you until the time runs out. All four seconds of it. Chop, you've seen before. It's the same thing as break. Beam up and right. You follow the directions it tells you to to destroy Bowser. Stomp. Uh, you permanently jump up and down. You just have to land on top of them. It's actually a lot harder whenever there's a lot of enemies. Escape. Uh, just make sure that the thing, the cup doesn't land on you. And now we have boss, aka the boss. That's right, the boss complete. This is like an old school uh, spaceship game. Which is, I love the old school spaceship games, so this is a great game for me to play. Uh, basically, you just destroy the things in your way. The green things will give you bonus, extra laser power, shield, after a while. And you can just flat out spam the buttons. I mean, it's ridiculous. You can just spam this thing and win. That right there is a black hole, but I don't think it kills you if you go into it. I think the idea behind it is to get the... Yeah, to get that little thing to go into it. It took me forever to figure out what you were supposed to do right there, and then I was like, oh, that's all you had to do. And the actual boss of the boss is right here. And I think depending on how much you hit him right now, uh, that will depend on how well he f fares inside of this thing. And then you attack him whenever he comes out of the deal. And then once you beat him, that's just it. You win. Simple as that. You can see how this game is actually kind of fun. And just because you complete the story part of it does not mean the game's over either. There's extra stuff to do. 
So whenever you actually walk out of here, I find this really weird, especially if you chose a male for your player. They like walk out and watch you at the lighthouse, and then all of a sudden, you turn into a mermaid and jump into the water. It's like really awkward. And so they look forward and you're like, thanks, and then you run off. And then they're like, that is so awesome, and then the best part of the entire thing. They're like, bye. Huh? We forgot to collect the fare. Ha 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 ha. That's right. We're making people work for us, and we're not paying for it either. So now these guys show up, and they have ice cream cones, and Jimmy's still there. And that guy down there is just the owner of the place. Whoa, hey, Delta, all clear. We misjudged you, pal. Thanks, I suppose. Good to know I'm respected by a cat and a dog that work for, uh, whatever they work for. Oh, uh, let's see if there's anything extra. I don't think there is. Nope, there's not. So, we're gonna move on to Mona. Now, Mona works at the Gelateria, but since she was not there, that means she's late. She's always late, because she's a kid who works during summers, and she always has a thousand jobs, so she's always busy, all the time. So, as usual, she's late. And because she's late, what does that mean? Well, this is what makes her late. Because she's late, the cops run after her. So she tries to make the cops uh, mess up and evade them. She tries a whole bunch of different things, and then there's a monkey that throws banana peels. And yeah, the sci-fi is called, this is called strange instead of sci-fi. So yeah, it's very strange, but thus the game begins. Just hit A at the right time, yeah, I know that's disgusting. But yeah, we're teaching you how to get away from the cops if you ever need to. Brush, just hit left and right over and over until the mouth is clean. Catch, just whenever it comes up in the air. I find it easier when it's coming back down to hit A and catch it. That's just me. Just hit A whenever it jumps. Just hold down, or just keep tapping A. Detonate whenever it gets into that square box, hit A. Fry, just, you know, hit A and make the egg land in the pan. That's pretty obvious. Aim, just aim it at the fire. By holding up or down. Tilt, just tilt the thing until the ball falls through the hole that's there. Steer, uh, left and right. Just make sure that you don't hit one of the walls. Look out, don't get crushed. You've seen this one in Brawl too, if you've played it. Whenever you see the car shake, then just hit A and deploy the airbag. Thread, this one's actually kind of hard because you've got to get it to go inside the needle. And it's hard in real life too. This one might be my worst one ever. Squirting it, you have to get it into the eye. That one's probably my worst one ever. And then we have the boss stage. This one's kind of annoying. Basically, there's a hammer and you have to hit the thing without messing it up. And you can fix yourself, but uh, if you do it like that, or if you hit the hand, then you mess up. I really don't like this one. It's very annoying. And if you wait too long, then you'll also get it wrong. Okay, good, I got it. I don't like that one. It's very annoying. Some of the bosses are fun, but that one's just annoying, in my opinion. Ignos is starting to get harder, so click, and then it turns eight right whenever she does that. So she's safe, and she gets confetti and ice cream. And acts like she wasn't running from the cops about five minutes ago. So now you see her there as well. Get out of here. Wow, Delta guy, you did it. Yes, I did. You know what? Let's just go ahead and do the last one, alright? I and mean, then this will be fun. Nine Volt's a lot of fun to play. Nine Volt's, like most of us really great people out there, is still a kid who loves to play video games, just like this. And he is awesome. And he plays, like, old school stuff, too. I mean, I'm not this geeky, but he's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. I'm not that bad. 
But yeah, these are all like old school games. Like this one, you have to jump over the barrels from Donkey Kong. They're all old school, which is why I l flat out love doing this one. You have F Zero avoiding all the extra cars. And this is this is probably my favorite one ever. You have Doctor Mario. Uh, balloon flight or whatever it was called. Balloon fight. Balloon flight. Uh, the old school Mario Bros. And I better not mess. Oh, I messed up. That was real embarrassing. Duck Hunt. Been a while since I played that game. Zelda. <laughs> the old school Zelda, you enter the door. Classic. Uh, I don't remember what this one's from. It's just an ROB. You have to grab on the electric thing. Cowboy one. We've all seen that one before, I think. That's just a classic dodging the cars type thing. Uh, Metroid, which you just hit A over and over until it dies. That's pretty simple. Gunman, which is easy. You just hit A at the right time. Just another Mario thing. You throw the shell at whatever enemy's there. And we have the boss game. And what more appropriate than Mario Baseball, the game that I am awful at. I'm serious. I'm really bad at this game. Why? Because it throws them at different speeds. It will occasionally make it where you can't see it. And you have to hit 6 out of 10. Some of them are easy, but sometimes they just make it like... Like that! I don't like this game. Like, this one boss. This is the only thing I don't like about this. It's just this one boss. And fortunately, I'm getting lucky and they're giving me easy ones! Come on, give me one more easy one. Thank you. And good night. So we won. This just in. The Game Boy Advance SP is here. That was me whenever it came out. I was like, oh, thank goodness, a better lighting system. It's about time. I took off. Well, I didn't take off like that, but I went as fast as I could to the nearest Walmart near my house. And got it immediately. And then started playing it for like five days straight. <laughs> that was me. I will admit that. That was me. Well, Delta, you rock. I admit defeat. You win. And so, after beating those three, Jimmy shows up again. Genre Remix number one, which is games from all of these five. So, from the Warriors introduction, the regular Jimmy, and these three. Technically, this is like a different Jimmy, but whatever. We'll take him on next time. See you guys then.